So we come up here. Should we come closer? Oh, I know. All the way up here. We'll come see us. Back at the bug. Look at them bugs. Okay. Um. Hi, Junie. Oh, Junie, you're so cute. You're so cute. Should we make you some more breakfast before I get all set up? Oh boy, I'm ready for a nap. It's already been a big day. Yes. But you're so puffy and ferocious. I don't know what happened. What happened? Can you show everyone how ferocious you are? Aurora is kind of ferocious. And Junie's a little ferocious. And where's Katie? Katie's ferocious. What happened? <laughs> I was making you some breakfast. Okay, <laughs> uh, I need to rewind, I guess. I don't know what happened. Everything's normal. Nothing. <laughs> I still don't know what happened. I was in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, oh, what happened? There was some serious boinging and puffing. Oh my goodness, so, so good at puffing. Good job. Everybody did a great job being puffy. Okay. <laughs> oh, all right, back to snack time. Snack procurement. <laughs> Try not to get puffy. Oh, okay. Mm. Approaching with caution. Oh, Rora, you're so big. You grew. I think you grew. Oh, I need to do this. Oh. Hmm. Oh. 
machen. that footage again. I still don't know what I think I don't know what happened. One of them ran into something and everybody got scared. That was hilarious. Oh, oh man. Okay. <laughs> yeah someone needs to make that into a gif and post it places. <laughs> oh, okay. That's funny. Reaction to the big noise. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. That's really funny. Aurora's out of here. She's had enough of this. Oh, look at the little near kitten. Oh, look at me, Rorals. Oh no, too slow. Oh, okay, so, wow, big week, big day, big week. Um, just checked on Rhodes. He is doing great. He's uh, obviously still recovering. Um, so he's quite groggy um, he's in the bathroom with the lights off and the feel away going and uh, the white noise machine um, so he will be as comfortable as possible um, once I hear about quark I will figure out when I'm going to go pick her up and then I will, uh, as long as Rhodes is alert and happy and good to go, uh, then I will return both of them later this afternoon, early evening. Um, where were we? Look at this ferocious badger kitten. Hi little mama. So Eve's doing great too, as you can see. Um, she has a little bit of milk but uh, not too bad. Oh there, she's going to show everyone as she leaps over the wall gracefully. Um, I am keeping the hooligans separate because they totally descended upon her last night and were nursing and so um, hooligans are... I'm keeping an eye on her. She's out there with them now so they can hang out but uh, if they try to take her down and get some milk bar then I'm gonna I'll either put the nursing sweater on um, and let them mingle or um, oh, put them back in here uh, so we've got a full house at the moment lots of cats and kittens oh what's happening over here what is this that's happening it's kind of adorable hello look at me so cute. Very dark in here. Um, so I will, yeah, so I will be at back at the feeding station uh, today, later on, and had a big week. Um, big exciting week, but a big week. Um, I feel like there are like five million things that I need to tell you, but maybe not. 
also, uh, if you missed the update earlier, um, Rhodes did great with his surgery. Um, he has been neutered and his eyeball was way beyond repair um, and quite painful for him. So um, he should wake up and be pain free once everything heals, of course. Um, but uh, should be pain free now for the first time in uh, quite some time. Um, he was likely hit by a car uh, because he is missing his upper right canine and a couple of incisors. Um, so, uh, but it's long since healed. So, um, he, he, that's why his tongue sticks out, uh, because he doesn't have some of his teeth in there to hold it in. So that's actually probably the best, the best, uh, thing that could have happened. Um, he's, his, he doesn't even have like his gingivitis, he doesn't have gingivitis, gingivitis that uh, looks unmanageable. Um, he's uh, at least five years old. It's always hard to tell because they have, you know, he's obviously had a rough time of it, um, but he's a super tough guy um, to have survived being hit by a car and losing his teeth and healing from that. And then whatever, if, if his eye was injured, uh, in that accident or in a different in a fight or something like that um, um, he was I mean he was totally functioning through the pain so um, but he definitely there was no vision in that eye and nor would it have healed so um, taking it out uh, takes away the pain and um, he should be able to function just fine with one eye he has been functioning uh, with one eye and a great deal of pain, so um, I was very relieved that he doesn't have huge uh, major dental problems um, that would continue to cause him trouble. Um, he seems he seems actually pretty healthy. Uh, his body condition was was pretty good. He's not like you know skinny or um, anything. He just he he was good. He had a couple of healing wounds, um, one on his head and one on one of his legs, um, but nothing concerning there. Um, he got some revolution. Uh, he got an antibiotic injection that will last for two weeks um, to prevent his eye from uh, becoming infected. Um, he had very manly testicles. So he has probably fathered a great many kittens in that uh, colony. Possibly some of these are the fathers of some of these. He could be their great uncle. He could be their grandpa. He could be their dad. Um, but he will not have any more babies. And he won't have to worry about fighting for girls or wooing the females or anything like that. So very best possible outcome. Because you know I was worried. I was worried we were gonna have to make a difficult decision, but very relieved that we did not. Thanks to Dr. Ferguson's willingness to make such a big investment of effort and time and everything. What are you girls doing out there? The girls are in the treetops. Um, what else? Uh, Yep, so he is pretty impressive. Pretty impressive. Um, <laughs> uh, the pals are running around wrestling out there. I'm trying to keep an eye on them. I don't see Eve, but I don't think she's well. I see. I see at least four. Oh no, she's she's in the tube. She just came out of the tube. Um. Yep. 
Yeah, the neutered male, the neutered males, um, once everything heals and their hormone levels adjust, um, they do, they do, uh, tend to become less aggressive and, um, not feel the, uh, biological urge to fight. And obviously they don't feel the urge to mate anymore. So, um, look at those, why are the girls up there not, and not in my lap? in the bowl and not in my lap. Oh, he's so adorable. Um, whew, yeah, so less fighting, less injuries, definitely. Um, I think the older they are, you know, it's probably become a way of life to some degree and they certainly have cats like he and Crusher and um, Gallico seem to have a fairly uh, uh, adversarial relationship um, but uh, it's interesting because he and Rhodes or uh, Rollins seem to show up on the same on the same days um, not all the time but and kind of around the same time so I wonder if they are related and hang out together or what but um, oh no bowl overboard there you go there's a badger in a bowl. What else? Um, oh, sleepy. Oh, so, um, probably I have a few hours to, um, look at applications maybe we'll start looking at applications and uh i've got some lots of things i need to post on the facebook um i did not get a van uh just starting to look at something so that uh the house human doesn't have to sit in slug slime trails every time we take the car <laughs> And so that I can, I, there's just, yeah, my poor car is always full of like trees and slugs and stinky tuna or stinky feral cats. So, um, was thinking about getting a, some sort of cargo van. Oh, what's that? Are you going to get puffy again? Hi, little mama. Are you coming to see us? That's so nice. But no, nothing yet. Um, what else? to bring in a pregnant barrel if I happen to be able to track one. Oh, so cute. Oh, you don't have to wake up. Are your eyes starting to change a little bit? I think they are. He's so cute. Oh, so cute. Oh, purring. Are you purring? <gasps> A Jimmy. We may be able to do a close up. So you close your eyes. Close your eyes. Keep them closed. Keep them closed.
Whoops. Oh, it's like, there we go. Oh, adorable. Try not to see too much. There you go. Oh, that's pretty adorable. Oh, pretty adorable. There we go. Badgers in the box alcove. Oh, all right. So. Oh, look at that, Jimmy. So cute. Kittens. Oh, so sleepy. Oh, look at them falling asleep. So cute. Now we just need a badger. Badger. Can you badgers? Where's that little badger? The big badger. Oh, your tummy is getting so big. I'm very happy to see that. Do you have food all over your face, though? Or what is that litter? What is it? Something? How can you walk? Oh, so handsome. Hi, Mama. Oh, so beautiful. Can I see your tummy? Can I see your incision? Let's do an incision check. Oh, it's beauteous. Good job. Good job. Oh, it's a badger. There's one more. Oh, badger. Mm, here's some scabby pounders out there. Oh, badger. Your sister's sleeping. <laughs> Such a good brother. <laughs> Badger shows up and the whole thing just... And then you leave. 
causes all sorts of trouble and then he's out of there. Oh, you just a little troublemaker, aren't you? Give me one of these. He has black nostril liner. Adorable. Look at you, you look so handsome. How many applications is a good question. I actually don't know.
leave.
Katie did. I'm here and no one is snuggling with me. <laughs> 